Osama bin Laden may be dead, but Al-Qaeda tries to show it's still business as usual. Number two, Ayman al-Zawahiri takes over as the new leader of the terror network. The Egyptian-born former doctor has long been known as bin Laden's lieutenant and the brains behind many of al-Qaeda's operations. His promotion announced on an Islamist website 45 days after bin Laden was shot dead by U.S. commandos in Pakistan. The most likely man to take over, he's already ramped up the rhetoric, vying earlier this month to press ahead with al-Qaeda's campaign against the United States and its allies. <laughs> The Sheikh has departed, may God have mercy on him, to his God as a martyr. And we must continue on his path of jihad to expel the invaders from the land of Muslims and to purify it from injustice. Today, and thanks be to God, America is not facing an individual or a group, but a rebelling nation which has awoken from its sleep in a jihadist renaissance, challenging it wherever it is. Al-Zawahiri, who turns 60 next week, is believed to be hiding out somewhere near the Pakistan-Afghanistan border as befits a man with a $25 million price on his head.